Hey guys, back today with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a logo for your Discord, Twitch, anything like that, a YouTube banner, YouTube icon, anything like that. And I'm not going to waste any of your time, so let's just get right into it. So first, obviously you're going to want to go to Google Chrome. And then once you're here, go to Google, like the search bar. And then you're going to want to search Canva. C-A-N-V-A. What you search Canva, now this is the software of choice that I'm using, it is completely 100% free. Um, you don't have to pay for anything. And yeah, so you're going to want to click on Canva. And then once you're actually in Canva, you're going to want to click on the top right, it's going to be log in. If you don't already have an account, you're going to want to click sign up. Now I do have an account, but just for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to sign up. So you're just going to want to click on sign up. You can either sign up with Google, sign up with Facebook, or sign up with email. You're going to want to hit sign up with email. Or Google, obviously. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in an example name. So, I'm just going to do example. Example at example.net. And then for your password, Google uses suggested passwords, but I would not recommend doing them. So I'm just going to make a random password. Okay. And then I'm going to hit get started. Okay. Apparently that's already associated. So I'm just going to do... Once you've created your account, it's going to ask you this. I would recommend doing personal. And then just hit maybe later, unless you want to pay for it. It's going to ask you this. I would recommend just clicking right off. Unless it doesn't let you. So, you're just going to want to search for what you would like to create. Obviously, the, for this video, it's going to be a logo. So, just scroll down to logo. Click on logo. And then it's going to take you to this. A blank paper with all these templates to choose from. For the sake of this video, like I said before, I'm actually not going to be using a template because I want to get get like really into it and explain everything. So what I always like to start with is the background. So come right down here where it says background. Click on background. You can search for literally anything that you want. Virtually, they have like every single background you can imagine. It's all free. Besides, they're ones that you need Canva Pro for, which cost a certain amount of money per month. You can do that if you would like. But you don't need to. So I'm just going to choose a background. Like I said, you can choose any background. Just do this first. Unless you're doing a template. Alright, I'm just going to use this background. Actually, let's go with this one. Alright, I'm going to use this background for the video. Okay. So once you've picked your background, you can pause the video here and try and find a background. Just, yeah. Alright, next thing you want to do. Obviously, you can't put videos or audio in a logo. Because you can't have animations or anything like that. So what you're going to want to do is go to text and then it's going to show all these different fonts here you can choose from, presets. I'm actually going to choose this one. So like I said before, you run background, you go up here, click on text. What's it here? Pick a preset font or you can just do a normal one. I'm just going to choose this one and it's a drag and drop program. So obviously you just click on it and it will go there or drag it. Now to move it around, just click on it and hold. Obviously, that's how you do it in every program. If you want to edit it, just click on the end of where the word is and then backspace it. I'm just going to do example. And then obviously, to resize it, there's actually going to be four dots, one on each corner. Click on one of the dots and you can move it in or out. I moved it in. And then on the right and left side, there's actually a little bar you can drag to make it uh, longer. So it's not all like stacked up like that. So just drag it out a bit. And then once you have this, you can obviously add subheadings or body text. I'm not going to do it for the purpose of this ex example. Because personally in Discord, obviously these logos are extremely small. So you won't really be able to see it. 
But, um, yeah. So once you've got your text, you can actually do a lot of things with it. You can change the color. <clears throat> so by, cha by uh, clicking on it, that's how you do everything. Uh, the effects, the color. So click on the text. You can click on the A with a little line under it. Change the color to anything. And you can underline it. You can do the effects. So to do effects, actually, that's the main thing I want to talk about here. Obviously, you click on the letter. Right above it, it should say effects. You can try any of these. They look pretty cool. The one I like to use a lot is shadow. Change the offset of it, which basically just shows how much you can see it. I like to keep it at around 64 because it looks nice and clean, not too uh, overdone or not too uh, unorganized. So once you have that, you're just going to want to, you can hit transparency, anything like that. Now this is just the one I prefer. You can do any of these. You could change the color of the actual shadow. I'm just going to stick with white for now. I would recommend doing white or black though. And then once you have that, you can actually change. This is how you change the transparency level for anything. You're going to want to have it selected. Click on this little square up here. And then drag this, and that just makes it fade out or in. And then the next thing I want to talk about is elements. You click on, so like I said before, once you are in text, click on elements. Anything up here. You can do virtual anything, like I said before. So these are all the featured ones. I'm just going to pick one of these. Okay, say you want to do a, um, say you want to do a firework. Or whatever this is, I'm not sure. You're gonna want to see how your word is actually on top of the element that you just added. Well, if you don't want that to be like that, you're gonna want to click on the thing that's on top, and they're gonna want to right click, and then you can hit send to back, which will actually send it behind this, and so all this is in front of the word. You can do the same thing with this, and if you have the back one selected, you can actually bring to front. And that will do the same thing, just vice versa. So I think I've explained that pretty well. Once you have all that set up, you just want to drag everything to the way you like it, set it up right. And then once that's all right, you can add photos. It's a drag and drop. You can search for any photo, add it right in there. And then basically, What's that's good and set up sorry about that. So what's that's good and set up you can upload it. It will say images, audio. This is anything that you would like to upload from your personal computer obviously. And you can upload that and it will actually upload it and then it will go right into there. And then once you have everything done, in order to preview it you want to click on the three dots and then present standard and then it will show this to get out of this you move your arrow up and it will go right there so then once it's like that you can actually do effects which is actually effects for every single for every single element in the picture the logo and it changes the color of basically everything if you go over to filter there's different filters you can use the one I would recommend it to you is festive because it looks like it's the most effective. To adjust things, you click on adjust and you can do the brightness, contrast, saturation, tint, the blur, which is the blur of the background, X process, or this. And then once you have all that set up, you can crop things. You can flip things, which will flip everything in the direction that you choose it to. Once you have all of that set up, and again, this is 100% free, you're going to want to go to the top right where it says download. Click on download. PNG is the best one that you could do for your file because it's the best high quality file. And then you're going to want to click download. That's going to download. And then once that downloads, it, auto it should automatically open. 
at least that's the setting I have. It will show you it. And then it will also offer you this. You do not have to do this, so X out. And then, when, as I said before, when you open it, it should actually be the latest thing that you have. Just in your files. So, open your file folder. Go to Downloads. And it's actually the latest one. And then, in order to put that into your Discord, obviously, you go into Discord. Select it. And then, you should be able to upload it. Because that's what, exactly what I did. So, hope you found this video helpful. Obviously, if it did help you, I would really, really appreciate it if you left me a like and a subscribe. Because I'm trying to grow. It's been really hard for me lately to grow and getting basically anything like that. If you Honestly, if you give me any notification, I'll be happy about that. Even just a comment. But if it helps you, let me know. I'd really appreciate it. So, no, for helping people. And, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, contact me. Let me know in the comments. And uh, have a good day, guys.